New India aims to participate in the great opportunity of capital growth in India and it aims to do that by investing in good quality companies. So we have quite a lot of companies in the finance industry, in the software engineering industry and in consumer products as well. So unlike a lot of markets where you are very concentrated into one or two sectors, um, the New India Trust is very broad based. India can be very exciting, its demographics are interesting, uh, the consumption levels that is growing off from a low base is interesting, um, the physical infrastructure if you've ever been to India, you see that there's lots of room for improvement, whether it's in airports or roads. But the main challenge for us, the most interesting bit, is to making sure we don't get carried away. Because ultimately, it's an emerging market, regulations, tax laws, all these things can be very dynamic and can be quite risky. So we want to make sure that we, don't, we take measured risk in a market like that. We manage that risk, we moderate the risk of operating and investing in a market like India by picking stocks that we um, we are comfortable with, we, we look into their business models and it's important here to get business models that are resilient. We try and understand the management teams and the promoters of these companies as well. So we like to check the track records of the people that are behind the company uh, as well as the levels of integrity. As we invest in minority positions, we want to make sure that we are treated fairly for our investors as well. I think the long-term outlook for a market like India is very promising. Um, you've got a relatively young population. You've got in place quite a lot of reform that's to come to open up many different sectors from insurance to banking um, to consumer products to retail. Things that uh, people from the more developed markets in the world take for granted. So you have a lot of opportunities for growth there. So I think the long-term story is a very resilient one. We need to also bear in mind that the recovery of India is not Modi specific. Uh, India is in a relatively soft stage of its cyclical growth and it will take some time for that natural growth to come true uh, back again uh, where the market is firing on all cylinders. So I think short term, it will be a little bit volatile. We could be in for some weakness in the market, but I think long term prospects for the Indian markets are very attractive.